Welcome to the lesson on proportional relationships on a graph. We're going to take everything we've learned about unit rates, multiplying by a constant, and tables, and show you what it looks like visually. This is an exciting lesson because we get to see what it actually looks like. Let's get into it. What to expect, we'll have a mini lesson with some practice and you're going to see lots of graphs. There's not going to be any application questions or word problems in this one, just lots of graphs to look at. On this slide, you can see that there is a table over on the left, hours and miles walked. That's how you will see a lot of proportional relationships listed like that. Or you might have some blanks that you have to fill in, as we've done in previous videos. But in this one, we're talking about taking that table of values and then actually graphing it. Usually, the first column here will be your x values. Those are the ones that move side to side. And your second column, here we have miles walked, would be your y values. So they would move up and down. So if I were going to graph these values, I would take the number of hours, 1, and I would go over 1. Then I would take miles walked and go up 2. So I would put a point on the graph right there. Then I would go to the point 2, 4. You can see that right there. There would be another point. Then I would go 4 and, or 3, I'm sorry, 3, 6. And there would be another point there, 4, 8, another point there, and 5, 10 there would be a point there as well. That's what this looks like. Now I'm going to show you basically what this creates. It creates a line. We need to notice a few things about this line that will help us to be able to identify all other proportional relationship graphs moving forward. First of all, it's a straight line. All proportional relationships will create a, the graph of a straight line. The second thing is that it passes through the origin, 0, 0. That's important. So it has to pass through the, the origin, 0, 0, and be a straight line. It has to meet both of those requirements, and then it is a proportional relationship. Let's take a look at this one. In this one, it's t-shirts sold to the fundraiser money kept. If you sell t-shirts, um, two t-shirts, you raise $1. If you sell three t-shirts, you raise $1.50. Four t-shirts, you raise $2. Five is two fifty, dollars and six is $3. I guess this fundraiser is not very effective. Um, this is a relationship that you can see represented by this arrow. And you notice that when we put that line on there. It's a straight line again, and it also passes through the origin. This is a proportional relationship. So those are the two requirements that we're looking for. Let's look at a couple of non-examples to try and show you sort of how we could make um, a non-proportional relationship. This one here is a graph, or a, I'm sorry, a table of rounds of golf played over um, on, on the left. And in the right, you see the rounds that you get on par. So this is golf, I guess. So you play three rounds, you get two rounds on par. Nice job. You play six rounds, you get three rounds on par. Okay. We play nine rounds, we get four rounds on par. And we play 12 rounds, and you get 5 rounds on par. Hmm. Well, that's what that graph would look like. So we have to ask ourselves a couple of things. One, is it a straight line? Well, yeah, it looks like a straight line to me. We've, we've created a straight line. Okay. However, it does not go through the origin. So if it's a straight line and does not go through the origin, we have to say, no, this is not a proportional relationship. It's just not. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's look at another example of a, a non-proportional relationship. This one starts with 0, 0, so that's good. It's time studying on the 
for our x values and correct answers that you get on the test. It starts at 0, 0. If you study for 0 hours, apparently you'll get 0 correct answers. So we're going to put a point there. Then 1, 1. So if you study for 1 hour or you get 1 correct answer, I guess this is a rough test. Study for 2 hours, you'll get 4 correct answers. And if you study for 3 hours, you'll get 9 correct answers. Now you notice when we graph this that it's a curved line. This is not a straight line. It does pass through the origin, but it's not a straight line, which means it is not a proportional relationship. Proportional relationships need to meet both criteria. It needs to go through the origin and be a straight line. So again, it does not work. Now, it's time for us to practice. You have the table here. I'd like you to pause the video and to try either draw out this graph or um, just kind of imagine those points on your screen. Don't actually draw on your parents' like television monitor or like computer monitor. That would get me in a lot of trouble, and I don't want to get in a lot of trouble, so don't do that. Anyway, this is a relationship between the arrows that Kaz fires and the bullseyes that Kaz gets. So go ahead and plot those points, and then see if it is a proportional relationship. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back. I'm going to graph these points now and talk about why it is or is not a proportional relationship. First off, if Kaz fires zero arrows, he gets zero bullseyes. Makes sense. If he fires one arrow, he gets one bullseye. Okay, he's pretty good. Two arrows, he gets two bullseyes. Ten arrows, he gets ten bullseyes. Wow, Kaz is a very good archer. Then we would graph this and see that, yes, this is a line, right? It's not every single point on the line, but it is a straight line. So that part is checked off. It is a straight line. Next point, does it go through the origin, 0, 0? Does it go through this point down here? And yeah, it sure does. So it goes through the origin, and it's a straight line. That is an example of a proportional relationship on a graph. Yay, we found one! All right, practice question number two. I want you to graph these points. And this one is just labeled X and Y. Go ahead and graph those points. Check out if it is a proportional relationship. Go for it. All right, let's do this. Our X axis has X equals 5, Y equals 2. X equals 5, Y equals 4. X equals 5, Y equals 6. X equals, whoa x equals 5, y equals 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Good. That looks nice. All right. If I graph these into a line, my line would look like this. Hmm. Is it a straight line? Well, yeah. That's a, a perfectly straight line. However, it does not go through the origin, right? For it to be proportional relationship, it needs to go through the origin and be a straight line. This is not a proportional relationship. All right, more practice. Here we go. X and Y values over there in our table. Graph them, see what you get, and answer whether it's a proportional relationship. All right, are we back? Did you do it? Did you graph this point, 6, 2, and this point, 2, 6, this point, 6, 10, and this point, 10, 6, and graph something that kind of looked like that? You're going like, how did he come up with that? That is certainly not a straight line, nor is it through the origin. That is absolutely not a proportional relationship. Sorry, not a proportional relationship. And you can tell by graphing it. So that's a helpful tool. It also lets us see visually what a proportional relationship looks like. So, a couple of just reminders at the end. Proportional relationships on a graph. It must be a straight line. It must go through the origin. Both requirements must be met. It can't be just one or the other. And that is proportional relationships on a graph. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.